Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see predefined variables in the form of statement in the few website. And in case you missed this discussion about how to implement for loop in QA report, this tag link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about the QA report as well as the Odoo guide, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development playlist available. And here, different types of playlists available with different topics which we are discussing. And if you need any support, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. We have some social media pages. Make sure you can follow. As well as you can subscribe this channel to get the latest notification. And source code is also available in the GitHub. So let's back to our main topic, like how many predefined variables we can use in the for loop stack map, right? And here, let me go to all the training, custom add-on. You can see we already created this module queue related here. Like let's say in this looping statement, let's say you want to add a sequence, right? Uh, let's say if you want to implement the sequence, like what is the current sequence is? Sequence means like here in the for each loop, you can see this is a record set, or we have some list of data is available, right? And now we want to check the current index of this looping statement and based on the index you want to perform some other operations so that time you can use a sequence as a predefined variable you can add here using like this question sequence of for loop for each loop like let's just span cls esc and then here we have to use underscore index right and now here the main thing is let's say you want to communicate like you want to use for loop three different variables then you have to compulsory add whatever you provide here the instance name you have to copy this one first you have to pass here then after underscore and the index name that's it now you can see here let me upgrade the module first I'm trying to upgrade module in the backend side. Ah, already it exists here. If you don't know how to configure Odoo with PyCharm, I already explained in the editor level playlist. Let's check that one. And now I'm trying to upgrade the module. I'm going to front end side, open the student profile, and let me. You can see here the IIT school having the three students, right? So it will print three different students one by one using the for each loop you can see now you can see here the index you can see the first one is the zero it starts with the zero then after the one and two right so total three students available and three different index available for that one and if you want to perform some operations based on the sequence files that is also then after there is one more interesting variable is available that is the like is this first index span like this and then like we have to use rtc underscore and simple we have to use the path and here there is a one more thing is let's say this is not satisfied like uh, by default it update as a none right so none statement won't be printed in the pdf file right so it, it will display as a blank so let me go to in the back side and regenerate the report you can see here true true means that this is the first record and then after you can see nothing right here so it means it's a blank and blank should not be displayed in the qweb report then after we have the another thing like instead of the first we can also use here the last right the last record and here instead of the first we have to use the last as a variable name so let me upgrade the module i'm going back to the student profile and trying to regenerate this report so you can see the first one is 
false, false, and now you can see here this is the true, right? So like this, uh, you can find out this is the first record or this is the last record, and based on that you have to perform some operations. That is also possible. And now we have another variable. Uh, let's say you want to print the print this one RTC. You can print using two way like let's say p uh, not like this p p dash exe you can directly use rtc so it will also print the specific record set right or let's say and let's say you don't want to use the only rtc so we have also one more variable which is like rtc underscore value it will also print the same thing here. Let me restart the service and upgrade the module. Alright, so this is RTC only and this is a student record set you can see here and this is uh, RTC value. Both are equal so this underscore you can exclude we can use directly this right there is no meaning to use like this and no one using here another thing is uh, let me comment these two parts another thing is uh, let's say the record set is the old or even right so if you want to find out that one you can use here p c s c and here you can use the parity like r c t underscore parity like this and upgrade the module and I'm trying to print the same report you can see E1 odd E1 like this so E1 means starts with the 0 odd means 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 so on right and E1 means like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, something like this. Or even you want to print, right? And based on that, you want to perform some operations. So that time you can use like this. And another thing is, let's say you want to display true or false. Like, is it a even or is it a odd? So that time we can use P. P dash ESC, ESC, RCP, and then like E1. Or let's say odd, odd, odd. Like. Now you can see here. Let me go to back. We generate here. You can see this is a true. Then after it's a false for the old, so it won't be printed here. Then after E1 is not printed here, why? Because this is the old value, right? And old is displayed as a true. And here is the same, like E1 as a true and old nothing, so it means like it's a blank. So like this way you can also add the RTC E1, RTC old or to the parity, right? So those are the predefined values. Uh, the predefined for the variables you can use under the for loop it won't be accessible this one in outside of the for each loop you can try right if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session